So in historical perspective, the immune system and the brain have been considered to be separate entities. And so if you would see immune system anywhere around the brain, would think this is a pathology, something wrong is going on. And I think this, this, this sense is now changing because we have immune system surrounding the brain, it's surveying the brain, and what we're showing in other show, if you remove these immune cells or somehow interfere with them, brain is not functioning as well. So it seems like the two systems need to live together and somehow to cooperate. And if you impair one of them, which is the immune system, brain may not function very well. Of course, if, you, if your immune system goes crazy and is super activated, then it will also uh, uh, um, uh, target the brain and you, we may get all kinds of neurological disorders. But I think the major, the major concept now is that there is a balance between the two systems and, and they need to, we need to find a balance for the two systems to live happily together. So what we discovered is that there are vessels in the meninges which are draining the entire the entire brain. So every, all the waste material which is coming out of the brain is being removed into the cerebrospinal fluid and from there into the vessels, into the lymphatic vessels. So once we thought that there is no lymphatic drainage from the CNS, today we know it, it exists. It still may be very different, may be very unique, but it's there. And so of course now it would be very interesting to explore this mechanism of drainage and see how, it, how it's involved or how it affects different neurological disorders.